Hi, today I'm going to show you how to set text with a photograph in it. It's really, really simple to do. And as I'm in a summary mood, I'm just going to type in pick your own over here and I'm going to reset it into a nice bold typeface. All I need to do is go up here into my text tool. I have got hundreds of texts I can choose from here, but I'm going to set this to Philly Sands, which I quite like. I could just go up through all of these until I find it. And there we go, Philly Sands. So I'm just going to click Apply. And there we go, it says pick your own. Now, if I just make that a little bigger, I can fit that on top of my photograph. There we go, just fill up that space. And we've got a bit of a gap here, which I'm not too happy with. So I'm just going to make that a little smaller so that it fills up that space nicely. You can see how easy it is to do that. Let's just make that a color that you can see against the background. Okay, so pick your own, it's on the background. And I'm just going to copy this and you'll see why in a moment. So if I take a copy of that, and, oh, hold on. There we go. If I take a copy of that, and I am just going to make that black, and you'll see why in a moment. Now, I'm going to draw a box around here, right click, set clip, and it's like magic. There we go. Now, I took a copy of this so that I can actually pop that behind there and make a lovely drop shadow with it. And I'm just going to maneuver that into position. And there we go. Pick your own. How good is that? And of course, I can save that as a ping to go on my social media. I could save it as a vector graphic. I could save it as a JPEG. It's really, really easy. And of course, if you save it as a ping or a vector graphic, the background is clear, which means you can put that onto any background you like. If you want to know more, please contact me on www.beyourowngraphicdesigner.co.uk. Um, hope to see you soon. Bye.